So there's a couple of different ways of doing corners and, and it could be specified in the drawings that you, I, I know like um, certain provinces are, are making it different now. They're eliminating floaters and they want hard corners everywhere, uh, which is absolutely ridiculous. But So anyways, what that means is we got a wall, boom, and a wall. All right, so we got our stud on the outside here to catch the outside corner. We put a stud here, okay, to catch this inside corner. And then what I do is I come in a quarter inch or a half inch, whatever, okay, and put my other stud here to catch this inside drywall. Right, so you see that configuration is another configuration for hard corner, okay? So uh, let's just say here, half inch, okay? Okay, you're gonna give a half inch space. And when you see that, when the drywaller sees that one moved in a little bit, the drywaller knows you drywall this side first, this one second, you get it? There's also, um, there's also uh, you can go tight and um, um, you can do the, uh, like, at, like you can double stud it, right? You can double stud one side or both, whatever. Okay, you can put two studs in on both sides, in which case you just go tight. That little squiggly line just means it, uh, it uh, continues on this way. Okay, so you got a long run this way. And your 16s are 16, 32, 48, 6, blah, 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 right? They don't land in the corners. What you have to do there is add a corner in for the inside, okay? Add a stud in for the inside. And then on this side here, same thing, okay? You're going to go tight there. You can add a second stud on, the in, on this side, okay? Two studs here. And you're going to add one more stud to pick up this corner. Okay, same thing. Okay, we have to put a stud in here for the inside corner. And we'll put two studs here. Okay. And it'll be the same on the other end, basically, right? And three studs on adjoining walls and four studs in every corner. Yeah, you can do that. Yep. You can totally do that. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, technically five, right? Or, yeah, four, because you got, you got the outside as well, the outside corner. Okay. Yeah, the stud for the outside, um, and then you can put two studs here, right? Two studs there if you want, no problem. Um, so depending too, so sometimes the um, uh, the studs are like I was saying the flange depends on the thickness of the flange, right? So the flange is this distance. An average stud is an inch and a half, right? So uh, center, you got three quarters of an inch on either side to pick up your bevels, right? or if it's lay down your butts for the exterior, right? You lay down exterior walls. Um, but some of them, like I've seen them go like, you know, two and a half inches thick even, right? If you got a big two and a half inch thick wind loaded stud, you don't need two, okay? You can totally get away with just one, right? So just keep in mind how thick your flanges are, right? And and just just think of, just judge it based on, on that as well. So if you got an inch and a half thick flange, two studs could be appropriate, right? And if you got a two and a half inch thick flange, then one could do the job, right? So just, th just keep that in mind as well. Uh, more is always better. Anyways, more is never going to hurt. Less is where you're going to get hurt, okay? Less is where you're going to get hurt. When you're estimating a, uh, when you're estimating a job and it's 16 inch on center, Okay, it's you're gonna need one stud for every foot, and that's how you estimate a job. You need one stud for every foot. That's gonna count your ends and your floaters and all that. Now, if you want to start adding in uh, hard corners and all this stuff, okay, and double studs, then you add extra studs. Okay, you just count your corners and you add um, um, you add more as you need, right? So. This will happen where the, the walls are not square, okay? It's not a 90, okay? What I mean by here, right? That's not 90. It'll say 135 degrees. So this is just simple. We're going to snap our lines both ways, okay? 
and you're you're gonna there there's gonna be um, uh, reference points for you to get your layout from. Okay, and a lot of the time, it's because the building is a weird shape, or the like the way they cut it up is a weird shape, or it's like you're this is a, a transition in the building. Okay, where it you know it turns or whatnot. Um, but yeah, just get your layout, snap your lines both ways, okay? And you're going to have an inside and an outside corner. Um, the inside corner here, okay, your, your studs will be um, like this. That's just too big. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on here. All right, let's go. The inside, <laughs> we're going to be like this. And it's going to kind of twist over this way a little bit, we'll say. Okay. So you see you got a gap here now on the outside. Okay. You got a gap. So bay windows. Yeah. <laughs> bay windows. Right, right, right. Bat windows. I love it. Um, perfect example of not square. Yes. Um, you, you're you going to have um, an uh and it, like a little bit of an issue here. So it, it's just, it's just, you got to, this, this is where I like to add two studs all the time. Okay. I like to add two studs to this one all the time because just, just to catch the drywall, you know, you know what I mean? Both ways. Sometimes the, this won't be tight to the other, other side. And it's okay if it's not right. Um, but yeah, you, you got, you got to keep in mind now the drywall. Okay is going to come in here and depending how wide this gap is what i use is a is like a flex tape okay it's a flex it's a wide flex tape uh for these kinds of corners right and it's like it's it's, it's wide it's a wide tape and you can it bends to any degree um and and so yeah it's pretty wide it'll it, it the tape itself usually covers the distance okay um you, you you most of the time these this is just going to be floated okay um and actually most of the time i these walls are i usually end up in five eighths but you could end up in half inch i'm sure um but yeah a lot of these in in wood residential there's a lot of these now in these apartments right where they're framed out of wood um but yeah there's not a whole lot you can do with that gap the only thing you, you can do is just get your studs on the inside as close as you can, okay? Um, but yeah, there's there's going to be a gap here. But what, I, what what you can do is is run your track, okay? Run your track. And so you have track on the bottom and the top, at least, you know what I mean? Uh, so that the tracks are still touching, but the studs won't, right? So yeah, I'll overlap the tracks. I always try to keep the track a continuous as, as, as possible. But then there's another situation here when you got a column, a, a column that's square, for example, okay? A column is square, but then now all of a sudden the walls are coming in on an angle, okay? You know what I mean? The walls are kind of coming in on an angle. It's kind of funky, you know? So the studs are really far apart, okay? Because they're going to stop over here and over here, you know? And now all of a sudden you got this big gap, but uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick it up with just angle, you know, angle in the corner, uh, and try to you know just try to, you know, you can bend angle too if it's light gauge. You can bend it if you have to, but yeah, um, that's another situation. The column, right? Where yeah, you'll run into that. Um, you just gotta make sure, okay, check your layouts ahead of time, making sure the drywall. We'll, we'll, we'll wrap on the outside, okay? Usually it's the inside where we'll just like, you know, build out a column or drywall straight across there, do something funky like that. Uh, I've seen that done, right? Where we just put the drywall in over top like this. So then the, the room just kind of looks kind of funky like that, right? Right, the drywall just goes over top. Um, but yeah, yeah, uh, on a normal normal angled wall like that, yeah, like I'm saying, th th this will just float, right? It'll just float. And it's nice when it's 5 8 drywall because 5 8 is stronger, obviously. But uh, the tape is, is really good tape. It's got metal um, in it. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a really good corner bead. Access granted.